what's up guys and welcome to germany i'm actually going to be talking in a very low tune today because i actually have my son sleeping and i don't want to wake him up so as you guys know we are still in germany or we are presently in germany we already left france where we visited the alpha tower we visited a lot of places we went to finland where we went on the husky ride the reindeer ride we went to the arctic circle the north pole we visited santa claus village and now we've also moved to Germany and in Germany remember along the way I'm also trading along the way most of the funds which we are using to fund our travel throughout Europe or throughout all the countries we are going all those funds I'm trading them along the way that was a challenge I wanted to take for myself all right and if you can see on my phone uh, I'm currently up today with profits of five thousand three hundred dollars and this was not accidental all the trades I took on this account I also send the signal to the people on my private discord community if I can go on my private discord community let me show you guys the same trade even when the moment we took the trade the moment we press buy on how we're going to manage the trade I send the signal to my discord private uh, group and this particular account started on five thousand dollars and the challenge I had for this particular account was the same signal I was going to be sending to my private community was the same signals I was going to be using on this account and you can check if you can check on this community we have more than 500 members and these are the same trade the same trade you've seen on my phone this is the same setup we had and i shared it on the community this was a thing by this time we were just planning to leave finland and i said i shared this signal i said okay we're going to be getting in at this particular point after this you can see this is a chart this is how the trades have been playing out these are screenshots of people taking profit because we had different profit levels this is my own screenshot i even posted a video today live below zero then this is is my own screenshot today of the trade all right so how did i uh, do the analysis what made me to be able to give this signal and how can you be able to do the same as you guys already know when it comes to trading they call me the king of simple forex trading because i keep my trading very very simple i obey what they call the keys strategy keep it simply stupid you don't need to complicate your trading so what did i do let me take you guys step by step on exactly what i did on this particular trade because this account like i said started with five thousand dollars if you can go back and watch the previous videos i did just check the link above and watch the previous video i did this was still on the same currency pair aud uh, euro aud i took that particular trade when we were leaving france or when we were just ar arriving in finland and it took the account from five thousand to almost about uh to almost about eleven thousand or so and we've been trading it along the way we've been trading by that time i withdraw some funds because we needed money and we continue trading the account and now what we have here is the same trade on the same currency pair so how did i do this and how can you be able to copy the steps and do it step by step all right okay come with me let me go on my computer and i'll be able to explain everything which is happening on my computer let me just put uh, off on my phone i'll come back to my phone in a minute good when it comes to forex trading you guys understand there are three factors that move the forex market we have fundamental factors we have technical factors and we have sentimental factors let's start with fundamental factors how do fundamentals move the forex market or what are fundamental factors fundamental fa uh, factors just stands for news anytime there's an economic news it impacts the forex market it causes the forex market to either appreciate or depreciate if joe biden just come up today and he made a speech or if boris johnson or the prime minister minister of britain or since we are in germany if the president uh, angelina some Something comes up and he mentions something about the, the euro or a particular speech that just affects the German economy it is going to automatically affect the euro so that's what they are talking about fundamental factors anytime there's a particular news it can even be a natural disaster like maybe there's an earthquake in Turkey it affected their currency all right those are fundamental factors then after that we come to technical factors technical factors now is what you see on your computer that's where we start using support and resistance we start using demand and supply liquidity zones those are all technical factors all right and then sentimental factors it becomes a point in trading where when you've gotten that experience you can actually open your computer and looking at that currency pair you know the market is going to go up or down no matter what any person tells you those are sentiments and they also affect the market all right so those are sentimental factors those are the three factors that move the forest market today we're going to be using two of the most important technical and fundamentals good to uh, by this time 
Uh, talking, let's start with fundamentals. Let, let's quickly go on the website where we can read our fundamentals. Remember, I'm taking you, take this, take your book and pen and take this step by step. I'm walking you guys step by step how you can be able to take trades like this on any account, on any currency pair, on any asset. You go on investing.com, right? Just go on investing.com and on their economic calendar, you can see I'm actually on their economic calendar and today is Friday, but the news actually occurred on, I think that was on Thursday, yesterday. That was a day before yesterday, all right? So you just click here on where it says calendar. Then you come down to Thursday. This is Thursday right here. I need just Thursday and you click on apply. Good. If I click on apply, this is the particular news that affected the Australian dollar. Remember, we are trading what? Euro, Australian dollar, EU, EU, Euro, AUD, right? Euro, Australian dollar. And the news can affect either of the currencies on the currency pair. So in our own case, the news was affecting the Australian dollar. And you can see this is the news right here, the employment change for the Canadian dollar. I've explained, I've done a lot of strategies on how to trade the news. If you haven't watched those strategies, just go on my channel and check the, the playlist on news trading or check the playlist on live trading and you see these examples time with that number. Good. So this is a fundamental I'm talking about. And talking about this particular fundamental, you can see it was at exactly 2.30 a.m. That's two. Germany has the same time. No, it's just one hour below. South Africa is one, if this is 1 p.m. in South Africa, and then this is actually 12 noon in Germany, right? So this was actually 2.30 a.m. Germany time, and in South Africa is obviously going to be 2.30 p.m. South African time, because since I live in South Africa, I used to, most of the time, I take my time according to South Africa. But in Germany, we're one hour behind. So that's why you see uh, 2.30 a.m. So at 2.30 a.m., we had this particular news event, and it was negative. It was negative for the Australian dollar. Since this was affecting the Australian dollar and the news was negative for the Australian dollar, it means any currency pair that has the Australian dollar as the first currency pair, you expect the chart to go down, all right? And any currency pair that has the Australian dollar as the secondary currency or the quote currency on the currency pair, you expect the chart to go up, all right? Because that is what we call correlation, all right? So in our own case, we're trading Euro AUD. And in Euro AUD, where do we have Australian dollar? We have Australian dollar as the secondary currency or as the quote currency. So where do we expect the market to go? We expected the market to go up, all right? So in our case, if we come down on our chart, that is exactly what happened. Let's go on our chart and we see, all right? Let's just go back to the, let's drop on the five minute time frame and I'll show you guys exactly what happened. Good. Let's just drop to the five minute time frame quickly. Good. So this is the five minute time frame and this is where we had the news. Very sweet news. Very unidirectional news. People, this is by before the news is released, you can use what I call the straddle strategy. If you don't know about the straddle strategy, again, check the link below or above to watch the video I made about the straddle strategy. So you would have made money on this particular rise, you would have doubled your account 1,000 to 10,000 to 15,000 to 8,000. You would have doubled your account on this rise. And after that, there is another strategy I call the goal of fundamental correction. Fundamental correction strategy. What happened? See what happened here? The market corrected immediately to where the initial news was released. Remember this red line you are seeing? That's where the news was released, right? And immediately after the news was impacted, a couple of minutes after that or after about 13, what happened? The market corrected back to that end entry point and media after that what happened the market again so there's a strategy i already used to trade what i call these waves after the news is released so before the news is released you would have come here you use the straddle strategy you put your buy stop somewhere here your stop loss here or you put your sell stop somewhere here your stop is, buy stop is obviously about 10 to 15 minutes from the current market price and your sell stop is 10 to 15 minutes from the current market price and your stop loss is just equal to 10 to 15 pips and what is your take profit your take profit is uh, your take profit depends on how impactful that particular news is. So today we are not going to be talking about, we're not talking about the strategy strategy, but that's just the idea behind the strategy strategy. Because if the news is released, any direction the market is going to take, we don't care. We're going to make money either way the direction, in either way the market is going to take or either direction the market is going to take. So I made money or oh, by that time I was busy. I was actually busy. I didn't trade this particular first move. The particular first move after the news was released. I didn't trade that particular move. Now, this is where 
uh, I came down afterward and I saw that the move has already occurred and I saw the market was already correcting. So you would have already entered somewhere here using the Golo Fundamental Correction Strategy and the market corrected right down here. I was instead planning because I already, I know very well, I know very well, since this is fundamentals, fundamentals tend to move the forex market for even days sometimes. So if, it's, if a fundamental is negative for a particular currency pair, you tend to see that particular currency pair dropping for a couple of days. If a fundamental is positive for a particular currency pair, you tend to see that particular currency pair uh, 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 increasing for a couple of days. And since this was Euro AUD and the fundamental was saying this currency pair is going to be appreciating for some days, then I was waiting for the correction, for the market to correct to the original price where the news was released. This red line represents the original price where the news was released, all right? And as soon as the market corrected right back to this point where the news was released, I came in at this particular point and I bought. Remember, I come, this, that's why you can see now at my Discord community, this was a news event. Can you see? This was a news event. And I told them, this is just to tell you, uh, this, this is how, just to tell and show you that the strategy, strategy taught in Golov University works and will be able to generate the same dope signals, you see. So after that, I was just trying to explain because look at trade, we already took, we already took trade somewhere here. And then I told them, this was this particular section you are seeing here. Can you see this particular section? The exact section you are seeing here is this section right here. <laughs> can you see so by this time we've not even seen all these other candles and this same section you are seeing here is this same section you are seeing somewhere here so what did i tell them see 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 what i told them i said yet yeah. I, I said uh this was actually this is just to tell AUD employment change what a killing then uh this is where the signal yeah. okay good then after that, I told them, got some traps set up for same news, waiting for the market to correct back to the news release point. Can you see this? I told them I had some traps already set because I was waiting for the market to correct to the original point. If you look at this, you can see I already drew lines. This was where the news was released. This was where my stop loss was going to be. And I was waiting for the market to pull back here. You can see the market was dropping and I was just patient and waiting. I told them I'm just patient and uh, I'm patient and I'm waiting for the market to come back to the same news release point and I'll be going in with a buy of a risk to reward of at least one is to three. That's why here, if you can see, I say I get some traps set up for same news, waiting for the market to correct back to the news release point and I hit for a risk to reward of one is to three. Let's see how it goes. So I already told them, I'm just waiting for the market to come back to my same news release point and I'll be buying for a risk to reward of one is to three since I know fundamentally the fundamentals are already telling me that Euro AUD is going to be very, very powerful. It's going to be appreciating for a longer period of time. So whatsoever is happening here is just a consolidation. It's just a correction. So I'm going to be entering after that correction. What happened? See, what happened immediately after that? After about 30 minutes, the market actually hit that particular line. You can see the market hit that line and I told them, it, it, it's time. The long awaited zone hit. Let's get in and see what the buy brings for us. You see, I already gave the signal. Now we are getting in. Let's get in and see what the buy brings for us. And that same point, this same point you are seeing here, look on my chart. This is the same point right here. This is the same candle right here. This same candle. If I have to put like this, this is the same candle right here. So this is why I was telling my people that, okay, I'm getting in at this particular point with a buy and I'm going for a risk to reward of one is to three. As soon as I got in somewhere here, I was risking about 40, I was risking about 40 pips. I was risking about 40 pips and my first target was 78 pips and my second target was, I think, 120 pips. Let me go now on the one hour time frame to show you. So I actually bought somewhere here. That's why on my phone, let me show you on my phone. Okay, that's why on my phone you can see all the positions are buy, 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 buy. And if you can check the time, can you see the time? That's the exact time I'm talking about. That was at exactly 4.34 a.m. Because the news was released at 2.30, right? So by that time it was 4.40. Look, that's the time. That's on the 16th, on the 16th of February, and that is 4.37 a.m. So I came, I, I got in with all those buys, all right? The trade are still going to be closing after this because we've actually hit our take profit. So let me go now to the one hour time frame to show you guys in details. Good. So we got in somewhere here. We got in somewhere here, and now the market has already moved in our direction for 120 pips because this is where we are now, all right? This is where we are now. 
uh, let me just check this let me just check this i think we got in this this one is confusing no this is not where we got in uh this this one is confusing we need to actually remove that one this was for the last for the trade we took last week this this uh box was actually for the trade we took last week so we actually got in somewhere here the candle is small so we got in somewhere here our stop loss was somewhere here and you can see we've been going off 120 pips all right so sorry for that mistake the box here was actually confusing because that was the same trade if you watch the previous video we did last week that was the box we were using last week on this particular area all right but we actually got in somewhere here immediately after the news this candle you are seeing somewhere here this was a new candle this long candle immediately after that we had this correction that came back to the original position where the news was released we got in somewhere here our take our stop loss was on 40 pips and we are already up with 120 pips what do you like tell my people in discord community that we are going for a risk to reward of what we are going for a risk to reward of one is to three this is the exact thing i told them we are going for a risk to reward of one is to three and here you can see the same thing the same thing has happened we got in somewhere here we we're risking 40 pips and we are already up with 120 pips risk to we're risking 40 pips to go with 120 pips risk to reward of one is to three so this is what you can be able to do on your own account all right like i said the market has already reached our target and we actually have to be closing this trade so let's close all these trades together right let's just quickly close all these trade guys let's quickly close let's start with the first one close second one close third one close that's how it's just banking money guys fourth one close feed one close and the last one close good good we are done you can see that's our balance now on 16,466 this account started on 5,000 just to show you guys the same people on my private community will be having the same profit so we are done guys we are done if you can see on the screenshot those are all the trades amounting to almost about six thousand dollars and the same trades i share with the people on my private community so what did i do I waited for the i waited for a particular news event to occur there are major news events that can actually cause this you have news events like nfp you have cpi you have fomc you have unemployment rate you have unemployment unemployment data so after testing you'll be able to pick key news events that can impact the market because there are some news events that are just useless if you want to trade them they don't impact the market in any way so the, when any of these news events occur if i have the time i'll use the strategy strategy to get in before the news is released but if i don't have the time and i come after then i can use the goal of correctional strategy to trade for the market to pull back to my original point where the news was released and once the market has gotten to the original point where the news was released i will get in because i know that correct that that correct that that particular move was just a correction that was just a correction for the market to resume the original direction which is supported by the fundamentals remember fundamentally we already knew that this market was going to be going up that is why we're waiting for that correction and we all about and you see what happened we bought and a day after or maybe about 36 hours after we are already up with thirty-six thousand dollars. so you can do you can back test anytime you have a major news event or anytime you have a, a major uh, uh, fundamental uh, event that affects the forex market try to practice this on your demo account go back and check other news events that have occurred and you back test you go back and back test check dates that those particular news actually occur you go back and back test and you see this happening time without number so this is just one of my main strategies that i use all the time to make money from the forex market and you see how i keep it very 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 simple i keep my trading very simple and this account i started it on this yeah this account started on five thousand dollars and the first video I, the first trades i took i recorded it and i've been recording all the trades until now we are already on sixteen thousand going to twenty thousand so i wanted to take time to update you guys on this particular trade we just closed the trade before we continue with our adventure we still have a lot of countries to go we are still exploring we are now uh we got to munich we even visited bio munich which is my popular team we were in bio munich yesterday we went uh, on a private tour on the whole stadium we went to the museum today we are in rotenberg still in germany 
from Germany, we're going to be going to other countries. We're going to be surprising you guys. We're, going to, we're not going to actually be telling you guys the name now. So if you want to be part of my private community, make sure you check the link below to join us in God Love University so that you can be able to share signals like this. And if you also want to use Patrix Pro, which is a viral robot now and everyone is talking about, you can also check the link on the video description. You can see the broker I'm using, no manipulation. So if you want to use the same broker I use, also check the link on the video description and you'll be able to use the same broker thank you guys so much for watching if you want to watch a key strategy which i also use on this particular account to to move an 80 dollar account to 2500 dollars then check out this particular video if you want to watch all our travel playlists check out this particular playlist click here to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on these other videos peace